Hey there everyone, this is Yui. Welcome to episode 3 of Enigmatica 6 Expert. Uh, today we're going to make a, probably a super tiny little bit of progression, or none at all. We'll find out. So uh, let's just get to it. Uh, I've been looking through the quests like crazy. And uh, first off, apologies if you hear the air conditioner in the background. It is uh, way too dang hot to be uh, recording without it. Okay, so uh, I've upgraded storage a little bit more because I am running out of room severely. Uh, there's no harm in upgrading these because you can at least turn them into RF tool things later. I, I've noticed if you look up uh, chest, at least uh, like right here, you can make the storage modules. I, I don't know. We'll find out. I don't know how soon that is because it doesn't look super soon I, I guess it depends how hard hardened glass is to get everything in this quest is um let's say not super trivial to get so I wanted to get into immersive engineering and uh, alloy kiln is out of the question because of blast bricks I no wait It's this, uh, this thing. We need a blast furnace first to even consider it, which means we need to get a coke oven. But a coke oven is crazy. We need to do this uh, sequenced assembly. So that's 16 of these, because it's times four. But we're running into issues here. Uh, construction paste, sure, that's easy. Coke brick, not so much. Uh, we need cinder flour, and, well, basalt, so we can get that from the nether. That's just through a crusher or a millstone, but cinder flour is only through a crusher, so we have to get brass casings. And brass casings, there's only two ways to get it. Either get in two, so let's uh, bookmark that for a second. Uh, blood magic which is not doable because, well, first thing we need to get into Ars Nouveau, which means we need to get Conduit, and it's just a rabbit hole of stuff. I guess we could go that route technically. I don't know the route we're supposed to. Well, I say supposed to, but there might not be a supposed to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for this little bee. That's what I'm going to do. But before I do that, because it says it spawns in the world and it gives a butt ton of uh, locations. So what I'm going to do is make a nature's compass. Let's see, do I have this stuff? What do you want? Logs? Okay. And saplings. There you go. So give me that. This will allow you to search for any. So what I'm going to do, not now, off camera, I'm going to click on this, go here and start looking for these and find out which one's close and then go there and look for a bee. I've already been capturing bees. You, you can use these empty bee jars. It's just glass or glass panes. I've got a few bees set up uh, just ones I've grabbed wandering around. I've got a couple nests with some bees in it and a bunch of mob spawners. I've uh, almost fully cleared out that dungeon. Mainly just going in there, running up real quick and throwing a cardboard box and running out because some of those... Some of those mobs, man... One of them's like... Wither skeletons riding the warthogs. One of them is even f stupid wither skeletons riding phantoms. Like, come on. <laughs> no. Uh, I did automate this. So this goes up over. Let me show you this real quick. This is just three fans right here, powered by one water mill blowing onto netherrack that's on fire. And that is to smoke. So that'll cook up the kelp and uh, put it in this chest. Once I get brass casings, I can 
compact that into three by threes and be good. Oh, and this was because I had so much kelp already. I can take that down, though. Uh, did I set anything else? Oh, no, I just moved everything. So uh, here's the mixer. This is the input chest. It just goes up. Gets poured out over here. I'm going to possibly make this smarter. Well, not smarter, but... um varied input because uh this has a limit to how many items it can take which i believe is 16 per ingredient so if i put in say 20 nuggets the belt will clog up with nuggets and then i can't put the andesite in to get the uh alloys so i might make it smarter and have two belts instead of just one or just use a smarter i don't know uh here's the lumber processing plant it does not run off of one water wheel so i needed two I just join them with the uh, chain drives, input, and then output. This is how I get my cardboard, or yeah, my cardboard boxes. Uh, here's, this is still working. I've closed these off. So when you close these off, you get uh, the crushed. And we need crushed. And I forget what we do with it, but we need to make brass. So that's, that's our first step is make brass. Right here. It's in the mixer. That's fine. So I can go ahead. We'll throw in half. It's zinc and copper. Surprisingly, I got pretty close amounts. And that'll just fill up. Fill up. Good. And then I'll just add in the other two. And so that'll make brass, and then brass, we can run through the water and get nuggets. So we'll get it just a little extra. But that's how we get brass, so that's not the part I'm worried about. The part I'm worried about is the, uh, the wood. Oh, so we need a ton of brass to make... Let's go back to create these little deployer fingers. These brass hands, they take four each. And we need 16 of them, so that's a stack. Oh, man. That's uh, more than I got. Do you need water as well? Is that what you're telling me? He did. Great. Well, um, so to heat it, you need one of these guys, but you have to get a blaze or a blaze spawner. Uh, it just so happens I know exactly where one is. So let's just uh, run down here real quick. That's the top floor of the dungeon, and this will go to the bottom floor. We go over here, over here, down here, and in here. Oh, so th these are the stupid uh, wither skeletons on the pigs. And uh, right up here is a blaze spawner. Uh, this one, I think, is the phantom one. <laughs> no, not this one. Uh, that's just regular wither skeletons with uh, bows. I think that one's the phantom one. And I don't know what those are back there because I haven't really wanted to go find out. It's dangerous. Super dangerous. But yeah, I've been slowly clearing it out. So I've got a ton of spawners. I think since Apotheosis is in here, if I get Silk Touch, I can just put them out and pick them up normally and be good let's uh oh man i really need to swap that for stairs let's, let's try this real quick this is gonna be dangerous because so why not blazes get you you we are room for the box there we go. Done. <laughs> so we've got a blaze. We can put that right under it. It goes here. 
Now it needs food. Anything that burns, supposedly. You know what? Here, you can have yourself some scrumptious bamboo. I do have a magnet trinket I got. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work unless you activate it. So you have to... Uh, I, I set it to numpad 3. And I can see invisible things. I don't know how useful that'll be. But, you know, I can. Can I just right-click you? Yes, I can. Eat up, buddy. Eat up. How many hunger bars are you? You can have as much as you want. There's plenty to go. So you can feed this with a deployer and something else. I don't remember. Uh, I think it was... Oh, a, a mechanical arm. So, so you, you need brass first. Hey, there we go. But that's how we get brass. So what I'm going to do now is uh, cut for a while because who knows how long this is going to take me. And I'm going to go find this bee. And then I'm going to craft up some deployers and set up a little assembly line. I think... Well, I'll be back. Well, I was uh, running to my destination and <laughs> there's this giant skeleton in the water. Pretty cool. And I just raided a pirate boat. Oh no! Alright, so uh, I'm calling it quits for now. <laughs> this bee is not spawning. I can't find it. I'm going to wait till tomorrow to look for it where I don't have time to record. And I'll just do that. So, instead, we're going to handle some stuff storage problems uh yeah so, some storage problems so let's grab a few things uh we're gonna need some silver and gold so we can make electrum and i don't even remember what for now i just know we need it and let's grab uh sure nickel and iron to make invar luckily we can make all of these inside of the mixer as long as you have the create ones. Uh, otherwise, to make Invar, you would have to do some weird either lightning with iron dust, nickel dust, and phyto grow, or explosions. Uh, either way, I don't want to do it. No, thank you. Because we can do uh, the crushed Invar just the same. Uh, we do need to heat it, so let's feed our little guy. No, nah, that one dig. There we go. He can eat plenty of bamboo. Because that's what I got. Eat up, buddy. There we go. Uh, is that going to work? It's working. It just put them all in there. That's fine. But that'll get us Invar, which we need to make stuff. So what I want to get is into this pretty pipe stuff, which I think is going to be sort of similar to the simple storage. Sort of. We'll find out. But to make that, we need Invar. So to process this, what I've done... I still got stuff going. Oh, it's emptied. I've put a hopper here. So instead of a funnel coming out, I've got a hopper, and the hopper will feed into the belt. That way I can manually load... things I want. That way, when I toggle it back, I could just come back here and throw it in there. So that'll work. And then I'll do the same with the Electrum. So in of our Electrum, how much you got left? You're done. That's it, 14. I hope that's enough. I'm not optimistic. 
But what I'm going to end up doing also is between episodes, I think I'm going to uh, move my entire base, everything. And I'm going to uh, try to centralize the create stuff because I believe if you stack, say, a bunch of water wheels together, it'll make them stronger, basically. And then I'll just uh, basically pipe the, uh, the SU wherever I need it to go. The other thing I want to do, oh, I need a door. Door, door, door. Let's make a glass door so I can see when the bees are right up next to it. I need some dirt. Do I have any dirt? Yes. And some flowers, which I know I have a billion of. We'll just grab a couple tulips. And let's go here. So this is a little, um, tiny little hut for the bees. Uh, like I said, this is all going to move, so it's not staying here. But let's clear this out. Uh, let's put that back. And let's move you up higher. Okay, dirt. Campfire. And I forgot the uh, most important part here is the uh, nest for the bees. Uh, let's see. I know I have a bunch of them. Here's one. This will work. Let's go throw this here. That way it's always smoked. And we can throw down some flowers for the bees. They'll be happy. And I've got these uh, sooty bees. What these ones do is uh, they make coal stuff. And apparently coal honey. What the heck is coal honey for? Is it another fuel? I don't know. Doesn't matter. But it should be as simple. Bye. As simple as uh, just putting them out here. Since it's nighttime, they're going to go hide. Let's go sleep so they can get to work. Oh, I got another trinket too. It's uh, I can throw ender pearls <laughs> forever. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I don't know if I'll ever use it. Although I don't take fall damage. I do have some ender pearls. I don't know if that's useful or not. Because I, I do have my little uh, flamingo that, that I wear. And it lets me uh, float for a little while. Which is really nice. Okay, these guys should be working. It'll take a while. Uh, I'm doing this so I can get... I don't even remember. It's the, the wax. Not the... Is it beeswax? Beeswax. Yeah. I need beeswax. I already have a few honeycomb. But that'll get us honeycomb as well. And so what we're going to need is a... Centrifuge. Uh, I do not have power yet. I might be able to make the uh, one generator, but for now we're just going to go nice and manual. We'll make a centrifuge. Uh, so we would put it in. It would need some bottles to capture the liquids that come out. The honey, if you can call coal honey honey there we go and then it just needs the uh, honeycomb that's a good amount how much do you have left oh it's done after a few more so let's just compress those down a stack that should be good little more than a stack. 
Okay, let's let's craft a few things. Let's see what we need here. Actually, I need my plates. Did I not grab them? Okay. Crafting terminal, for sure. That way we can uh, craft the stuff. Crafting terminal needs an item terminal. Which needs Invar gears. Yeah, this stuff is going to get expensive. Iron gear. So it's just a bunch of crafting now. So I'm going to craft these up. And then we can play around with setting them up and see how they work. All right. I've crafted most of it. So uh, the Invar is used to upgrade these modules to tier two. And then Electrum is where it goes to tier three. And we need two tier threes for extraction and insertion to make the item terminal here. Right here, these two guys. So we can make that. Oh, let's check for quests. There there are quests. I know. Where are they? It's just that quest. I'll take that. And then we'll upgrade it to a crafting terminal. And I've made some pipes. And I'm pretty sure that's... That's it. Uh, pressure... Unless I need shows amount of an item in the pipes network. Okay. If we wanted. And maybe we should make a wrench just in case, because I don't know what it does. Okay, let's let's just test this real quick. Let's go get rid of you. Throw that there. Terminal needs to be connected to a pipe network. Okay, how about now? Oh, it is. I don't know. Oh, it's just like an anchor. Okay. I should be able to do that and see everything. Oh, yes. Thank you. Okay, let's see here. This goes in. Good luck finding spots for it. <laughs> These chests are like packed. I think it's going to send it up here. No, that's full. That's full. Oh, man, everything's just full. Oh, it's going to put it in the resource one. That's the only this spot with stuff. And then let's try uh, crafting something. So I know I'm going to need a scraper request okay it sends the ingredients one at a time and then I pull it out okay so with the scraper what we can do oh I, I didn't mention it before you go to your bees you can click on it to get your information but if you hit you for uses you'll also get that but it'll also tell you what it makes and what kind of flower it needs. Like uh, the cuckoo or, or the, the clockwork bee needs a, a, a cuckoo clock. It's a little uh, weird, but okay. And the one I'm doing, the sooty, if I hit uses on it, go to flowers. It's just any type of flower. It's, it's nothing special. But it'll also tell you what you need to breed it and what you can get out of it. So once you start your collection of bees up, you can start getting all the different types of resources and uh, breed them like that. So if you breed a water bee and a sooty bee, you can get lapis. Great. So what I'm gonna do is grab this. Make sure to empty it. These uh, basic ones only hold three. Not very good, but you can upgrade them. Uh, but to upgrade them... Let's see, where is it? Is it... So, tier one we find... Oh, is it just going to be... 
Let's go here and hit uses. Oh, okay, we need to make the upgrades. So, uh, tier two, for example, just four honeycomb and four of the beeswax. And then a nest. And then you would have to upgrade the previous nest, uh, threes over here. It's just blocks and... What's this one? Oh, the honey. So, build up a honeycomb. Throw this in here. And then I believe it said sneak right click. I'm probably going to need an empty hand then. Both empty hands. There we go. That's it. All that work, and I only got two little coal. Oh, sad. Sad. Does it tell me the rates here? Uh, centrifuge. Oh, 50%. And 25% and 2% chance to get honey. Jeez. Okay. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to do a lot more with the bees between episodes. I've got a bunch of them. I might go collect some more. I'm going to try to find this guy. If I can't find this guy, we're getting into magic stuff. And we might as well just get into magic stuff anyways next time. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Because it, it's a... Uh, oh, wait. No, I can't. I lied. Once again, I have to get the bee. Because, do I? So, this is... Almost doable. And these things are eating up conduits like they're a dime a dozen. Okay, see, that part's okay. Uh... Nautilus shells. I wonder if I can get them from a drowned spawner. There are plenty of drowned spawners in the uh, waters. And this we can make with alchemy. Uh, um, maybe. Mana powder. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, that's not as bad then. We need we need a ton of source gems, it looks. Yeah, I'm going to uh, study this up a little more. Because Aquamarine is doable, this is doable, this is just clay and kelp. So, uh, yeah, I think we might be able to push our way through that. Oh, I forget. Uh, I, I've done occultism just once before. Oh, that's right. Dream fruit and fire. Which I do have. I, I do have dream fruit. Right here. So I, I think we'll get into magic next time then and just forget the bee, but I am going to set up some bees and uh, breed them for resources because why not? And then I'm going to move my entire base into the dungeon that I've been clearing out. Centralize my create power. So I'm going to move all that stuff over, move all my storage over now that we've got a, you know, uh, it's a, it's a usable thing it's a little slow but i think we can speed it up here or do we put them here i think i think it's in these pipes we can uh we can add speed if we need it and we got priorities oh that's right so what i'm going to also do if bees allowing the whole reason i wanted bees storage drawers I haven't looked at the controller though, so I might be. Oh yeah, of course, cause cause why not? Oh, what what the heck's the processor take? Okay, uh, so uh, n no to the controller, but we can make basic drawers. 
That's a trim. That's a drawer. It's just this basket, which needs scented sticks, which is bees. Uh, nope, never mind. It's the honeycomb. And the other one's the beeswax. The uh, canvas is beeswax. Straw you get from milling rice. I've got rice right here. I've been very slowly gathering a little bit of here and there. Nothing uh, significant, but it should be enough to get me a couple storage drawers so I can get rid of some of this stupid cobble stuff. But anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time where we make barely any progress again. Bye-bye.